I hope you guys are ready for some more PES 2016 UEFA Euro 2016 because, well, this is what we're playing, or I'm playing. It's Albania next in the group stage. If you missed episode one, oh, we're at the Metropole Arena. I wonder if you can change stadiums in this with this patch. I don't think you can. I don't think there's like a kit server which you can open up. No, and if you leave and come back in... We're still at the Metropole Arena. Anyway, if you missed the first episode, I beat um, Romania 2-1. Bit of an edgy game in the second half. This is on superstar difficulty, and I have changed some positions around. Someone did ask in the replies, what about Griezmann on the right-hand side there and Coleman there? So I've done just that. But we're going to stick with the same shape. As the previous episode, because it did work. So maybe for this game, bring in Kabai for Pogba. Pogba was hopeless in the previous game. And yeah, Albania. It's a game we need to get three points in, of course. But it is in Superstar. Now, these games in Superstar are difficult. When I say these games, I mean the Fox Engine era games. I found... A lot of scripting going on in that first episode. I don't like to bring up scripting because it always sounds like an excuse for not playing well. But I can kind of get away with saying it if I've won the match and I did win that game. But I still felt a lot of scripting. And it was it was prevalent in PES 2016, in 2017 to an extent. It was shocking, the superstar difficulty in... Pairs, I think it's 2021, where the CPU would just turn into animals and <laughs> superstar. That was in Master League, though. We weren't too bad in exhibition games. But anyway, the Albania national anthem rings around the stadium here. I don't recognise any of the players, I have to say, guys. Some of these players, I was going to say they've got the generic faces, but I think most of them have been updated with the patch. But anyway, yeah, I'm not too familiar with Albania, Albania as a football nation. Um, but we all, yeah, we'll all know these players because they're household names, of course. Olivia, Giroud, Paye, or Payet. Do you pronounce the T in his name? Um, but yeah, we've got to win. We've got to win this game. And I'm quietly confident because, yeah, we beat Romania. So I think we should sneak a win here, but I don't want to get ahead of myself, of course. Um, and if anyone did miss the previous episode, I did say at the beginning of that, and I will say it at the beginning of this. Oh, there was a generic face. There's another one. There's quite a few generic faces, actually. Um, what was I going to say? Y yeah, I'm not particularly fond of this game. Back in the day... PES 2017 was one of my favourite PES games, but when I've gone back to it recently and played it, and I know this is 2016, not 2017, but my point will stand in a sec. When I went back to play PES 2017, I'm not that keen anymore. I don't like any of the Fox Engine era games. Um, they just do not flow as well, in my opinion, of course, as the PS2 greats. Anyway... Here's Kingsley Coleman on the left-hand side this time. He was on the right-hand side in the previous match. Here's Dimitri Payet. It's a decent start, that. I think it's a corner. It is a corner kick to France. Right, let's do something with this, because the corners were poor from me in the first game. Oh! Matweedy! It's another corner. And if I do go quiet... I have to keep saying the same thing in all these episodes, just in case you're new to the channel. If I go quiet for a few seconds here and there, it's because I'm coughing. Ah! Oh. oh, I thought that could have been 1-0. Yeah, I've got a cold, basically. I've got a bit of a chest infection, I think. And I just, yeah, I go through coughing fit. So I'll just edit the coughing out in post-editing. Because you don't want to hear coughing. You'd rather the silence, the beautiful silence. Ref. I have noticed in this pairs, you don't get hardly any fouls. It's very end to end. You see lots of crunching tackles and 
physical maneuvers from the CPU, but you never seem to get, you never seem to see any fouls or penalties or anything. Here's Griezmann. Oh, come on, Griezmann. Let's pour that. Let's see what Albania have got up their sleeve then. They're sitting deep. Just as Romania did. Romania sat deep, but they did steal or nick a goal just before half time. Oh, that was a lovely little ball, that, for Griezmann. Oh, I got a play called Shaka. It won't be Granite Shaka, of course. Uh oh. I think Granite Shaka played for Switzerland, didn't he? Or Austria? No, it was Switzerland. Definitely Switzerland. Anyway. Is Dimitri Pai. He likes to drop deep into that midfield position and then he'll burst forward. He is the number 10 here. This patch is fantastic, by the way. Big shout out to the patch makers. I have no idea who the patch is made by, I'm afraid. So apologies for that. But really good patch. It really does make a difference play playing with their pitch textures that they've made and all the official kits. Because I think Albania's kit would have been um, a generic or a fake kit without this patch. And then, of course, all the generic player faces... So they did a fantastic job. A big shout out to the Pez. Oh, it's terrible. The Pez modding community in general. Big shout out to all of you. You all do fantastic work. And you spend your own... Hold that thought. Oh, that was unorthodox by the keeper. It kind of went under his bum. Under his backside. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Just, just yeah, thanks, basically. Big shout out to all the, all the modders. You do great work, and it is appreciated. Giroud's good at doing that, holding it up. We've been a bit better in this game so far than we were at the beginning of the match against Romania. I don't know if this is a better team than Romania. I'm assuming Romania are the better team. Oh. Out. I never feel like I'm in control when I'm defending in, in these games. Oh, it's 1-0. It's 1-0 to Albania. Fantastic finish. I like that goal. And, yeah, kind of backs up my point. It might just be a me thing, but I never feel comfortable defending in these games. To reiterate, when I say these games, I mean Fox Engine, Pez. I like this little... Where is it? When does it happen? Here. That. Goes on to his other foot. So you would have noticed a quick edit there, guys. My phone was ringing. It was an important call, which I had to answer. But I am back. It is 1-0 to Albania. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm going to say this now, guys. <laughs> I sound so dramatic and serious, don't I? When I come out with <laughs> statements like that. But I am going to say it. Hold that thought. <laughs> oh, I'm making myself laugh. Here we go. Uh, Dimitri Paye. Ah. This game feels like, or my players feel like, they are trucks turning in mud. It's so stiff and clunky to play this game. <laughs> I remember now why I traded it twice. Because I bought it. Oh, twice. I bought it, traded it, then someone told me, oh, it's better now, it's had a few updates, game's much better, I thought, oh, here we go, because I can see that there is good here in this game, the fundamentals, what they're trying to do with it, I could see that there is a game here somewhere that could, in be, could be enjoyed, but anyway, yeah, so I bought it again, got it home, installed the game and the patch, the update, played it for 10 minutes and, and turned it straight off and sold it again. <laughs> And this is coming from someone who loves the Pez games generally more than the FIFA games. It was around a time when I was playing a lot of FIFA 16, which didn't help Pez, because FIFA 16 was very good despite its flaws. But anyway, here's Albania. Here's Kana for... Here's Basha. Balaja. Gashi. I, I'm, I'm trying to say their names correctly, and I'm probably butchering them. So apologies to any Albanian people watching. Here is Basha. 
Oh, it's nearly 2-0. Nearly 2-0. I'm just not playing well at all. It's it's a lot of me not playing well, and it is also the game. Or rather, the, my, my players, just, like I say, they feel like they're in quicksand. I've got no control of the ball. It feels like a hot potato. I just feel like I've got to get rid of the ball as soon as I get it. Otherwise, the CPU will just charge into me and win it. Anyway. I think now is a good time to consider Martial because, yeah, that just wasn't working before. Pae was just terrible. Uh, oh, come on. Let me... <laughs> let me change... That's it. Let me change the right wing is what I was trying to do. There we go. We've got pace on both sides now. I mean, Dimitri Pye is quick, but he was playing as a 10 centrally. And I think Griezmann is much better in the middle. Much more suited playing around the striker like that, isn't he? But anyway, we'll see. I'll make both of them CMFs as well. Pogba and Kabai, we're going for it. So here come the subs. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's one of those games I really want to like. But there's just something about this game that just I've always... I mean, I'm enjoying playing these games and having a chat with you guys for the for the purpose of the channel, of course. We like to cover all the Pez games, all the footy games on this channel. The good, the bad, the ugly. And unfortunately for me, this falls into the, the bad camp. Even on the first episode, I said I quite like it. But it's one of those games, the more you play of it, the more... You remember all of the flaws. They rear their ugly head, basically. And it's not because I'm losing. I'm actually quite a good loser. I win with dignity, and I lose with dignity. It's just how I've always been. It's only a video game. If I lose 4-0, I lose 4-0. Here's Basha for Albania. Here's Gashi. Uh-oh. That was a decent pass. Oh, Larice, what's that? What was that silly little pass? Oh, it's too much on that for the Albania forward. And it's a goal kick for France. And if France have got any dreams about winning this um, Euro 2016 tournament as the hosts here, well, we've got to play a hundred times better than this. Look at all this space on the right here for Coleman. For uh, Sanya, sorry. It is where Kingsley Coleman should be. But I don't know where he is. Oh, he's back there. I could see him. And I was calling him Conan the Warrior in the first episode. It's Conan the Barbarian, of course. And it is Arnold Schwarzenegger. I went and looked it up. Because I was convinced that I, I had seen that those movies. And I definitely have. A bit of pointless information for you all. Albania player is offside. Just. I gotta say, this game looks really nice graphically. I liked what Konami were doing at the time with the player models and stuff. They looked spot on. So I'm talking about 2015, 2016, 2017 to an extent. But then by 2020, hold that thought actually, because this could this could be another goal here. Oh, that's a good header from ever, I think it was. Pogba does well. Oh, ref! Yeah, they tried, or Konami tried to go for this overly serious, oversaturated look with Pez 2020 and 2021. And I think those games are ugly as all hell. I really do. I remember certain YouTube channels. All that thought. Ah, it's easy for Larice. I remember um, some, a few YouTube channels around the time going crazy over Pez 2020 demo. Gameplay wise, I loved that demo. But graphically as well, oh, it's lifelike and all this kind of thing. I was like, well, no, it's got a luminous yellow pictures for a start. It's just something about those games, man. I just don't like. Oh, I'm a, I'm a moany old git. It's, it's because of the cold, guys, okay? Blame the cold. I'm usually much more joyful <laughs> than this. Uh-oh. It's because I... Yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm not... I'm not a big fan of these games. The CPU will let you always let you have the ball up until here. 
And then this sort of force field appears, and you'll find it nigh on impossible in Superstar. Well, I do. Breaking through. There's definitely an art to playing this game well, and I've never been patient enough to learn it. Whereas I would spend hundreds of hours in a game like PES 5, or even PES 2013, which is superb on 360. I'm thinking after this, when we get knocked out, because this is hard. But we never know, we could get to the final and win it, but if, if we do, it's the next game, guys, for the Euros. We're celebrating the Euros on the channel. It'll be PES 2013, we'll go back to that PC version. I've got a patch on that, I've got the Euro 2012 patch. And... Oh, Giroud! Oh, what was that? And we'll use... I don't know what team I'll use yet, guys. We'll think of a team. It was Croatia last time. And I got knocked out in the group, I think. <laughs> oh, I like that little cheeky ball. I, I can't get nothing going, guys. Seriously. I, I know I'm talking a lot, but I am focusing and concentrating. I, I just... Yeah, I just can't seem to link my play up up front at all everything feels so stodgy everything takes an age to happen for me in this uh, era of Pez my button press seems to happen like half a second later I just didn't like this era for Pez I didn't like it at all whereas FIFA around the time was Ignite engine, of course. FIFA 16, the last of the Ignite, wasn't it? So FIFA 14, 15, and 16, those were the games I would have been playing up until the release of this, and I was addicted to those FIFA games. The Holy Trinity. And then you just played this, and it felt all nice and slow. At first, it blows you away, but then you, like I said earlier, you start playing some more, you start digging around in this game. And it's a stodge fest. There you go. I'm going to trademark that. Pez, the stodge fest. It just makes me want to play Pez 5 or Pez 6 on PS2, this does. Or PC. Anyway, it's Marshy out. We'll stay positive here. Oh, what's that, Giroud? What was that? That's beautiful little dink from Martial. Like I keep saying, there's little moments of in this game where I love, I love what it's trying to do. That little dink from Martial there. The little through ball from um, Pae, if anyone remembers in the first episode. Just little bits of brilliance and magic in this game. Anyway. Come on, we, we need to score. Because, yeah, a loss against Albania and the France fans will be asking for the manager's head in the morning. Not li literally, of course, that'd be weird. Here's Everett. Martial. Thinks about a shot, thinks he'll thread it over to Pogba, who then tries an over... I don't know, over the top pass. Sorry, guys, I'm struggling. My throat's hurting. Running out of time now. Oh, it's a good interception, but... Oh, I thought I was going to take that out. Right, last attack. This is it. This is it now. We've got to get a goal from this bit of play. Ah, oh, dearie, dearie me. And it's full time. <laughs> France nil, Albania won. Albania deserve all three points. They were fantastic in defence. They looked dangerous in counter-attacks. France were hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I was hopeless. Let's see what the group table looks like after that defeat for France. So, Romania have beaten Switzerland in the group. The group I'm in. England have narrowly beaten Wales 1-0. Uh, Spain and Turkey draw 1-1. One, one. That's interesting. Um, and then, I don't think there's any surprises, really. Belgium win, Italy win. So, there's the group. <laughs> Look at that. Everyone's on three points. And England, top of Group B. Germany, top of Group C. Spain, 
top of Group D. Belgium, top of Group E. And Portugal, top of Group F. So I hope you've enjoyed that episode. It was it was bad. I know it was bad, guys. We'll try our best, or I will try my damnedest to beat Switzerland. I had to think about that then. Switzerland in the last game, last group match. I'll speak to you all soon. <laughs>